Howdy folks, um, welcome to another episode of Your Day's Hobby Corner. Today I'm going to be doing ghost bushes. We're back in a second. So, as I said, I'm going to be doing these ghost bushes today. Um, essentially, these are the kind of bushes that you go around to the Scottish countryside, especially on Arran and up north. And you see them every fucking where. Um, they're kind of ugly, nasty looking bushes that you think if you were on a motorcycle and you crashed in, it'd probably kill you. Um, but I got the idea for doing this off somebody on Twitter um, at stitches underscore spells, I think. Um, basically, she makes. Um, stuff for mountain climbers I think um, but she's a D&D &D player so um, and she does it with somebody else I follow so I followed her she's some of the stuff she does is really cool if I was a climber I would use it to be honest so there you go this that she was talking about gosh and I thought awesome I've got yellow flowers from looks APS <laughs> I've got clump foliage that I can chuck on it, which I don't have any more of. I actually had to make some. Well, was that it? Um, but, you know, um, I need to go out and make some, um, get some, even. Um, yeah, so, this, excellent. Um, so, I'm gonna go back in time a little bit. <laughs> Till uh, for, uh, like 20 minutes ago, because it's taking me about 20 minutes to make this fucking make the ending video and this video. I'll be honest with you, you have no idea the kind of crap that I have to. It's, it's my own brain I have to deal with when I'm making these videos, but um, yeah, so doing that, and I'm doing some other stuff as well. Um, doing some tree stuff as well, so hopefully. You will get a kick out of that. Um, yeah. So, bang on So, over this wall you're going to see now is me putting down the already built bush. Um, kind of, no, this. So, basically, what it is, it's foam board or um, card with um, brow pad um, hot glued down on the um what you call it? on the whatever the bot the bottom bit is the basin is and then um now I'm spraying it in um, a green spray paint. Um what you see in the, in the next bit of the video is actually the um brown over the over the game um, because I realised when I was doing it I thought to myself why would I be using green why would they be green it should be brown but then you know there's, there's the brown over the green so it might not be that bad and um, so you know you, you'll see um, when we move on to the next bit so all we do is I mean it's the same thing with the brown as the in the green all you do is you spray it all over it and make sure that you cover as much as you can um, to ensure that the it's covered so when you're, you're all the flock and everything's on it you know you're not you're not seeing anything um, other than the, the green or the black, the brown um, but you know we'll see we'll see how it goes with this um, Oof. Hmm. I had to do that a few times. Um. Yeah, so. Um. There's lots and lots of pieces of this. Well, not lots and lots of pieces, but quite a few pieces. Um. Of it, um, which takes some paint, which I wish I hadn't used now. 
really, because, you know, it's, it's, but the thing is, when you do these kinds of things, you, you've got to learn from what you do, you know, you've got to, you've got to understand that not every time are you going to get it 100% right, there's a lot of things that I've done so far uh, in building terrain that I've got <laughs> wrong, uh, but, you know, that's fair enough, that happens, you just you get on with it and make sure that um, you don't make that mistake again. Um, but, you know, that's it. At the end of the day, you, you make sure that you don't make mistakes. I think you can hear me all over myself, probably. Um, you make the mistake once and you don't make it again. That's it at the end of the day. Um, so, um, once I'm done with this bit, what I do is I get the, the course flock out, but then I re realise when I'm looking at it, I'm going, hmm, actually would this not be brown? So I've got the same brown kind of colour as I've done the um, trees, you can see at the side there, it's, um, and that's the course flock. Um, obviously not enough for what I was doing there, because I've used it on, on lots of different other things, um, but um, yeah, so put it down <laughs> and then went and got the brown spray and sprayed it all. Um, and then in the next sequence, you'll see um, me actually doing it right. As you can see here, I have a couple of bits that have already started, um, and then a couple of bits that haven't been started yet. Uh, basically, what I had already done is I'd already. Um, Dumped the or uh, sprayed them with your varnish is what I use, and that's what I used to um, get the the flock to stick to this and like any of my trees and stuff. I, I use your varnish. It's, it's a very sticky, very tacky um, um, kind of glue. Like it's a varnish, but it, it acts like an adhesive. Um, and as you can see here, this is me spraying on the uh, um, the mix, it's a clump forge mix, um, all over the bits. Um, and once I've done that, I'll, um, I'll dump <laughs> the, the excess onto the bit of. Um, Baking paper, I think it is. I can't, actually can't find the, the rest of the, the roll that I had. But um, there you go, there's your varnish. Um, and then uh, uh, go over it again because I want to give an extra layer of the the clump foliage over each bit. Just want to get it as filled as you, you can. You don't want to see too much. Um, and there, there's me trying to clean up and dump back on to the bits. Um, the next sequence will be more of the same. Um, so I'm going to cut it so you can see um, how you go about it. Back in a sec. As you can see here, spraying um, the milk varnish again to put another layer of pump foliage on. Now this is a mix of looks APS, um, various yellow hedge foliage, um, clump dark and clump these clump sheets that are the dark and the mid tone, um, just to get a wee bit more. Um, size to the bits of hedge. Um. Right, so now we have the how it's how you make it look like gosh. So this is basically the Lutz APS um, foam buttercup flower flock. Um so it's like a yellow flock with the like green in it as well. Um, it's very fine, so you can see me sprinkle it all over there, um, trying to get it 
as covered as it has because when you look at gauche, go or gorse, gorse, I call it gorse, but it's gorse as well. Like gorse is how you actually see it. Um, when you look at it, it's it's yellow. You know, there's yellow flowers all over the place. So you want to get as much of it covered as you want you can. Um, especially these big bits because they're going to be the big, big bits that are um, covered the most, or seen the most, I suppose. Um, you're only going to see the little bits now and again when you're um, when you corn on a uh, um, field or whatever. Um, but yeah, just just cover it as much as if, you cover it as much as you think you're going to need um, in the end. So it comes out quite well. Or comes out nice, you know. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Alright folks, so that is the little that's the little one that I was doing. So that is coarse bushes. Um I need to spray it with um PVMX. So it's a PVMX or PVA and water and fairy liquid. Makes it go hard. Um, and as you can see it's um, you know you barely see a terminate over it you have to you have to be very very close to see a terminate over it even the big pieces you barely ever you barely see any of the, the taller pieces you barely see any of the terminals so you know you, you ought to think that's very high bushes um, so um, if you enjoyed this episode, I encourage you to like, share and subscribe. Um, if you enjoy the channel and you want to support the channel, there's a raffle that you can get involved in. Go on to the coffee account, which is below. It's £3. Whatever the current raffle is, that's, that's what's going. If you want to support the channel in a more substantial way, I can give you the um, PayPal account where you can send me a couple of quid then I'll send you a couple of little bits of terrain or even better commission something from me I do commission terrain I do commission painting you know is that at the end of the day I, would, I can do loads of stuff I can I do those bushes I do trees um, I do hills um, this is little rock things that I need to fix um, that I started doing. Um, like rough, not passable or rough terrain, really rough terrain, because you have to clean over it and shit. Because I mean, that's a terminator next to it. It's a bit of suppose impassable okay. um, rock wall that's not cheap though that's a lot of work um, and I do boards I'm working on the now um, and sprayed PV. I've, I've done the wet work with it, but I need to spray the PV. It's got PV mix in it, but what happens is you have to actually do the. What I do is I do a, a PV mix, but I don't have it's water and PV. I don't have the fairy liquid in it. It's to like reactivate all the. Um, in order to make it tough and strong and gamer proof, it's the PVA water um, fairy liquid mix, which I need to um, fill a bottle with. Um, so yeah, loads of things you can do to support the channel. Um, I'm not sure what I'll be doing next, what will be released next, but... Um, Basically, I'm doing this in my holiday week. Um, I said to myself, I'm not going to do any work my whole holiday week because that's my birthday week. Um, but I decided I'm going to do videos because I'm doing all this shit anyway. So, may as well show you. Um, so, 
There you go. Um, I'm going to say good day. Happy hobby. <laughs>